Hi, I'm Shen, Global Head of Product here at HTC Vive. XR can deliver incredible experiences for both consumers and businesses, and we've always believed that it's more than just the individual elements like resolution or field of view. They all contribute to creating immersion. XR, its most powerful, is when it makes you feel something. And we've always looked at ways that we can enhance your immersion. We've pushed the boundaries with XR headsets and with the wider ecosystem, everything from software through to hardware. We took immersion to the next level with our latest Vive XR Elite, which has outstanding mixed reality capabilities with a full color, high resolution RGB camera, which is low latency and good dynamic range. And we weren't content with just delivering a great headset. We started to build out the ecosystem as well, announcing an eye and face tracking module so people can have more realism and different ways to interact with each other and XR content. And we weren't just content with delivering Vive XR Elite and its eye and facial tracking module, External trackers are powerful in XR, for motion capture, VTubers, adding objects and props to XR, and even in industrial use. Our Vive Mask Cam Track reimagines virtual production at a fraction of the traditional cost. Since its launch in 2017, Vive Tracker has unlocked new ways to interact with XR content. We're always challenging ourselves to go beyond what's achieved previously. Vive Trackers have become smaller, lighter, helping PC VR users and then we built the Vive Wrist Tracker for Vive Focus 3 and Vive XR Elite. And now we're excited to tell you about our next tracker. We don't have a name for it just yet, but it'll be the first Vive self-tracking tracker. How is it self-tracking? It's equipped with two high field of view cameras, an onboard processor, and the same high precision positional tracking algorithm that you use in Vive Focus 3 and XR Elite. The new tracker is able to perfectly track its location rather than relying on external sensors or the headset cameras. Just like our headsets, it'll be able to track large-scale play spaces as well. It's really versatile because it's so small and lightweight, under 100 grams, and about 50% smaller in size than Vive Tracker 3.0. The sleek profile means it's easy to attach it to yourself or to objects. We have a new quick release mechanism to allow easy swapping within seconds. But we still support standardized UNC mounting, the same mounting that you'll find in cameras and speakers, so you can attach it to existing solutions and we'll release the CAD files so you can 3D print your own mounts. That means you can bring positional tracking to countless objects, bringing even more immersive peripherals into XR, including the ability to have active inputs through the pogo pins at the bottom. It's not just for object tracking. You can use it combined with controllers to get full body tracking. You can connect up to five trackers at a time to our upcoming USB-C dongle. So you can track your entire body, including elbows, legs, and feet. And if that wasn't enough, here's where we take things to another level. We're big believers in open ecosystems and we support OpenXR. So the new track is designed to work with more than Vive XR Elite or Vive Focus 3. Our goal is that with it being able to track itself, it will be able to be used with non-Vive headsets too. And if you're just looking for a professional tracking solution for non-XR use cases, we will also enable standalone use. More details on these will be released in the coming months. And to the Vive Pro, Vive Cosmos Elite, and other Steam VR Lighthouse users, we still recommend Vive Tracker 3.0, which is perfect for Steam VR tracked environments. The new self tracking tracker isn't here to replace it, but to fill in a need for external trackers in a segment where Steam VR tracking just couldn't accommodate. It'll be coming out in Q3 later this year, and we will be showing demos to developers at GDC with dev kits starting to ship out soon after. To learn more, you can go to the Vive developer page linked below. We're looking forward to seeing how you use it.